I get in there? Sharp okay. Metropolitan okay. Medical thank Campus you would out. like you yeah. to Working thank out. you for attending today's events yeah. at the San Diego Crew Classic. Please visit www.sharp.com to learn more about programs and services available to our community. Sharp is a proud sponsor of the San Diego Crew Classic. We'd like to thank the Mission Bay Yacht Club for their fine assistance in putting on the 2008 edition of the San Diego Crew Classic, the Mission Bay Yacht Club. They're providing the security boats for today's regatta. The Rowing Repair Center is a proud sponsor of the 2008 San Diego Crew Classic. Since 2001, the Rowing Repair Center has repaired shells from its main location in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, but now announcing the opening of its new West Coast facility at this year's San Diego Crew Classic. Find out all you need to know at www.rowingrepair.com. And he's probably looking to see who he likes here in the collegiate women's lightweight grand final. Stanford in lane one, Wisconsin out of lane two, University of California in lane three, Loyola in lane four. They battled it out for these lane assignments yesterday, and uh, the order of finish is exactly the order of lane assignments that we have today. A start in the women's lightweight grand final. All crews have come smoothly off the line. The water conditions up here are uh, not as smooth as they were earlier. So it's a little more testing for these crews as they try to power their boats off the line. And the race so far is unwinding according to their national rankings. It's Stanford in lane one who have grabbed a lead of about a seat over Wisconsin in lane two and in lane four Loyola Marymount have a lead of about three feet over California as we come down to the 250 meter mark Wisconsin have steadied and they're pushing back at Stanford Stanford are not taking any more of a lead Stanford still have one seat over Wisconsin Wisconsin sitting up powering it away and trying to make sure that they're Opposition in lane one do not escape them. In the outside lane, California have pushed back at Loyola Marymount and have taken an advantage over them of about two seats. They're starting to separate between the two halves of this race, Stanford and Wisconsin at the front half of the race, and California and Loyola at the second half of the race as we approach the 500 meter mark. It's the same. 
Stanford have a lead of one seat over Wisconsin. Wisconsin pushing hard back at them, but can't quite make any impression. They look like this, this is going to be a hammer and tongs race all the way down, and it'll depend on who has got the determination and the guts and the nerve to hold their form. As we come through the 500, it's for the minor placings, California with about a three quarters of a boat length lead over Loyola. Checking our lane assignments at 500 meters, it is Stanford University in lane number one. Wisconsin is pulling out of lane number two. University of California in lane three and Loyola Marymount in lane four. And the standings called at the 500 meter mark reflect exactly the finish yesterday. Stanford one, Wisconsin two, Berkeley three, and Loyola Marymount four. This is for the women's collegiate lightweight grand final. Shot there of our leader, Stanford University women, lightweight. University of Wisconsin, lightweight women. Impeccable timing. Moving through the thousand meter mark, Stanford University now moved out to about three quarters of a boat lane over Wisconsin. At 1,000 meters, it is Stanford on the shoreline, and they are continuing to edge slightly forward. It'll be interesting to see if Wisconsin slightly short the slower time in the preliminary heat yesterday was something that they were holding back on and if they have something left to catch Stanford right now it's Stanford Wisconsin and then on to the outside with the University of California and Loyola Marymount on the far outside continuing to shadow in the trailing position. there of the University of California women's lightweight crew and in the background Loyola We're through 750 meters or just to it now you can see from the field Stanford's opened up some open water over Wisconsin well on their way to a victory here in the A.W. Kagashal Cup. Yeah, the last 500 meters, uh, Loyola Marymount moved up on the outside on Cal Berkeley, but they still have some room, a lot of room, as a matter of fact, to make up to the leaders at this time, Stanford and Wisconsin. Stanford in lane one, Wisconsin in lane two, and Stanford continues to edge a little bit farther ahead. Stanford, our leader from the beginning, with every stroke, moves out another couple of inches. Conditions in this part of the course relatively good. Not flat water, which will demand some excellent parade work to keep clean. We saw a number of crabs here yesterday when these conditions uh, existed as well. We're through 500 meters. It's Stanford University now with almost a boat length of open water over Wisconsin. This is Stanford along the shoreline. And on the outside, Wisconsin. On the far outside, with a little bit of a course correction there, Loyola Marymount. We'll see if that costs them. As Berkeley makes a move on them a little bit. That one would be for bragging rights, of course, as we're into the grand finale. This is Stanford. Wisconsin outside to Loyola and then the University of California at 250 meters to go with more than two lanes of open water at Stanford University lightweight women. <laughs> Rowing smoothly and easily Stanford. They were a heat winner yesterday. 644 a time. They may not do that this time because they haven't been pushed. Wisconsin on the outside. 
Loyola and Cal. And across our finish line, Stanford, a wire-to-wire -wire winner. An impressive victory at the Henley Regatta. They would call that easily. Stanford women congratulating each other on a well road effort. Loyal out in lane four has now moved out to about a length over California as we're down to the last five strokes of the race. Third spot has gone to Loyola, unofficially, with California running fourth. Next up, we have the men's collegiate lightweight grand finale. And we're looking at lane assignments. Pulling out of lane number one will be the University of California. That is Texas in lane two. Purdue will occupy lane three. On the far outside, it'll be the University of California, Santa Barbara, coming out of lane four. And occupying lane five, Washington State